Let's write our code to prompt the user for his or her name. Then the code that will pause the command prompt and wait for the user to enter his or her name. This code basically waits for the user to press enter, then inserts the user's input into the variable we have created, the name local variable. We then output the value to the screen, hello, followed by the value stored in the name variable. The console.read key line is there to keep the console screen active while running our code from the Visual Studio IDE until the user presses any key which will close the console screen. If we did not have this line of code, the IDE does not keep the command console active and the code runs straight through and we won't be able to see the final output of the application. Let's test our application. To run the application from the Visual Studio IDE, we can simply press the play button on our toolbar. As you can see, the command prompt is displayed to us. First the prompt to enter our name, so I'll type my name, Lon, then press the enter key, and the output is hello Lon, which is as expected. Then we can press any key to close the command prompt console screen. Let's examine the code here and modify a few things to test the rules enforced by the c -sharp compiler. First, let's remove the string array argument passed into the main method by default. The string array argument is intended to contain command line values. What happens if we remove this parameter and then run our code? The c -sharp compiler doesn't mind this. Let's edit the namespace and the class name and then test the application. Compiler is okay with this too. Now let's change the name of our static main method and test our code. The compiler flags an error. Let's look at this error in our output window. Program does not contain a static main method suitable for an entry point. And in our error list we see the same error message. So it is important to note that every .NET project must have at least one static main method because this is the entry point of our application. The main method is the entry point of a C-sharp application. It is where the program control starts and ends. Note that the exceptions to this are class library projects and Windows services projects, which don't require a main method entry point. There can only be one entry point for a C-sharp application. Main is declared inside a class or struct. Main must be static. The enclosing class or struct is not required to be static. Main can either have a void or int return type. The main method can be declared with or without a string array parameter that contains command line arguments. What happens now if we comment out the top line of our code, which is a directive to indicate that we want to directly reference types that reside in the system namespace without having to include the namespace each time we refer to the type in our code. In this particular case, our type that is affected by this is the class named console. Commenting out the code will ensure that the compiler does not recognize the commented line as code and will ignore it. We now see red squiggly lines under every reference to the console static class, and if we hover our mouse over console, the code editor reveals a message stating, the name console does not exist in the current context. And now what happens if we try to run our code? It will not compile. An error is flagged. In our output window, it states the name console does not exist in the current context and it states this four times, one for every time we've tried to use the console static class. In our error list, again, the message appears four times, once for each time the console static class appears in our code editor. To eliminate this error, we can type the system namespace followed by the full stop character directly before each reference to the console static class, and this makes the red squiggly lines disappear. Let's run the code and see if the error has been eliminated. And it has. The code runs as expected. Now let's take out the comment characters, the two forward slash characters before the using system directive at the top of our code editor, and then test our code. This works as expected, but the system namespace included before each of our console static class references is now redundant, so we can remove this. Let's take a closer look at our code. We have the directive at the top which states using system, this directive enables the developer to directly reference types, for example, classes, 
organized under the system namespace without preceding the type name with its namespace every time the type is referenced in the code. Creating our own namespaces can be useful in controlling the scope of types in larger projects. By default, a namespace has been provided for us in our console application code. This namespace is by default the same as our project name, hello name. As demonstrated earlier, we are able to change this namespace name. Here we have our static main method, which we have discussed, it is our application's entry point. And here we have the console static class, which is a member of the system namespace. We are able to consume the console class method without preceding the class name with the system namespace because we have included the using system directive. C is a programming language developed in the early 1970s by Bell Labs. Syntactically, C Sharp is based on C. Examples of other programming languages based on C include Java, JavaScript, and of course C++, which is a direct evolution from C. Let's look at the difference in syntax between our hello name code written in C Sharp and its counterpart code written in Visual Basic. Visual Basic 1.0 was released in 1991. It was based on the basic programming language and was developed to be more human readable and was created primarily for rapid application development. One important thing we can see if we look at the Visual Basic code a little bit closer is that the name variable has its first letter, the letter N in uppercase, whereas when it is referenced later on in the code, it is referenced with a lowercase n. This works okay in Visual Basic. Its compiler sees the name variable with an uppercase n as the same as the name variable referenced with a lowercase n. Visual Basic is not case sensitive. Let's take a look at what happens if we try this in our C-sharp code. You can see the name variable now has an uppercase n when it is defined, and when referenced later on in code, it has a lowercase n. The c -sharp compiler flags this as an error, and the error message states, the name variable with the lowercase n does not exist in the current context. This is because the c -sharp compiler views name with an uppercase n as a different variable to if it was defined with a lowercase n. The compiler is therefore flagging that the name variable with the lowercase n has not been defined. As with C, Java, JavaScript, and C++, C-sharp is a case-sensitive programming language. 